Hey everybody, welcome back. We're doing some stuffed chicken parmesan today. This is the, if you take anything from this channel, take the stuffing or the spinach dip. I serve this alone, sometimes just some fried uh, fried pasta, serve this stuffed inside of chicken, serve this stuffed inside of pork one. This is fantastic. First thing you do is heat up some olive oil. Once the olive oil is kind of hiked up in some uh, onion, just cook the onion down with some salt, pepper, garlic powder, and a little bit of crushed red pepper. When the onion's kind of cooked in itself, going to add some garlic. After 30 seconds, I'm going to go ahead and dump in the... Uh, artichoke it's basically just a can of artichoke hearts that have been diced throw that in there let that kind of work itself in and uh, while that's working you're going to take a block of uh, a block of spinach the frozen spinach cook it in the microwave then drain it real good with your hands you're going to put these like balls of spinach put that in there with everything work that in a little bit you're going to want to separate that out with the spatula uh, after that's kind of worked in you go ahead and dump in four ounces of cream cheese after the cream cheese is dumped in there you're going to work that a little bit and you're going to dump in four ounces of sour cream Get all of that cooked together, let that simmer for a few minutes, and once that's kind of a little bubbly, you're going to dump in four ounces of freshly shredded Monterey Jack or Pepper Jack cheese. I use Pepper Jack because I'm with a little heat. And I cook, season it a little more with some Cajun seasoning, either some spicy uh, Slappy Mama or the mild Slappy Mama. I use the mild right here. Go ahead and cook, uh, work that in real well. Once that's worked in, you're going to go ahead and add in a couple of capfuls of grated Parmesan cheese. Work that in really, really well. Make sure you don't need to reseason. Check all that. Go ahead and let, put that in the fridge. Let that cool. Hey, everybody. So, yeah, that was the uh, it's my spinach chip, and it's the stuffing that's going to be used for this uh, stuffed chicken parmesan. And I'm not frying it. I'm baking the chicken parmesan itself. So, <clears throat> anyway, and that dip, by the way, golden. Uh, that's probably my biggest requested thing for people that I cook for right there. That's, that's easily the best spinach chip you'll ever have. So anyway, uh, in addition to the dip uh, or the stuffing for the chicken, we need to make the sauce. Uh, no shame in using jarred sauce at all. Lord knows everyone's guilty of do doing it. Great time saver, right? I mean, usually when I do it, I, I try to doctor it up, but usually I have a jar of red sauce in the house at all times. I don't today, though. Uh, so we're going to make a quick little, I don't know if it's, you call it marinara sauce. or I just call it red sauce, but that's a regional thing right so anyway um to do it it's really easy all you need is to make a basic one all you really need is garlic a can of tomato sauce olive oil and some sort of herb uh with basil oregano whatever you want to use i'm going to use some fresh onion in mine i, I just love the sweetness i don't need the red sauce i also usually throw in right towards the end i'll throw in a little bit of um Balsamic vinegar. Um, I don't know that that's a typical thing, but it's something I love doing. Um, and I'm going to use some fresh basil and a little bit of oregano. And the oregano is dried. And keep in mind when you're using dried herbs versus fresh herbs, you want to use more of the dry herbs. Um, I'm sorry, less of the dry herbs than the fresh herbs. Oops. By volume. So anyway, the onion was fairly big, so I'm just going to use half an onion and probably four or five toes of garlic, depending on how big they are. Um, yeah, when you look at a recipe, somebody says four toes of garlic. Keep in mind what size the garlic they're using. You know, I think garlic is like a like a volume thing, you know. Um, and again, season it to your taste. I like a lot of garlic. Um, anyway, let me get this finished up, and we'll get over to skillet and get the sauce started. It doesn't take long at all. Um, for the onions, for really, <laughs> oops, for the onions, for the tomatoes, um, you can use. Crushed or whole, you know, if you use the whole tomatoes, you want to put them in a bowl and crush them by hand. I just buy crushed tomatoes already done. Um, I don't know why, it's just, it's my little cheat for it, I guess. And I always, do always keep one or two cans of those in the pantry, which is why I can do the sauce now. Because doing this dish was kind of a, I don't know, a last minute thing. I happen to have the stuff to do do it, so why not? So those are decent stuff to use for. So anyway, now I will get these finished and... We'll get over the skill in just a minute. So we got our pan heated up. We go ahead and drop in some good olive oil, and this is that uh, cold pressed olive oil that I like. Those in there. We're going to start off seasoning the base. 
because this is like the base of the sauce, right? As far as I'm concerned, this would be the foundation. So to that, I want to add some crushed red pepper, some salt, pepper, and garlic powder. Really, we just want to cook these onions so they start getting soft, all right? The onions are kind of soft. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and drop in the garlic and uh, let that go for about 30 seconds so it gets fragrant, and then we'll drop in the tomatoes. Just going to drop this in here. Put this about. The tomato may have just a touch of water because it's all going to reduce down, but I have all this tomato up in the can. Salt, pepper, and garlic powder, and a little more just salt. Just a touch more crushed red pepper. That basil. Get that sweetness out of that basil. This is uh, dried rosemary. A little bit of that, and some oregano. That's basically the sauce right there. Oh crap, I just spilled some out of the pot. Man, that suck. Right, put the lid on it, and then let that simmer for about 10 or 15 minutes. We'll come back and check on it then. So it's been about 15 minutes. Let's see what we got going on over here. Let's see how it keeps coming out. Oh, that was good. It looks pretty. Oh, it's nice and thick. Oh yeah, babe. That's what I like to see. Look how thick that sauce is. Look at that. Does need some vinegar though. I'll do this to kill some of the acid. I know some people add sugar. I suppose you could do that too or both. I mean, it's kind of on you, you know. This is something I like to do to just kind of just kind of tones it down a little bit, gives it a little sweeter of an edge. Um I don't know where I learned that from, but I've always kind of done this. With my red sauce. All right, set this on the side. We start with chicken. What I'm actually doing is a stuffed chicken parm, but I'm baking it instead of frying it. Basically, I'm gonna butterfly the chicken about three quarters of the way through, put that spinach uh, and artichoke mixture inside of it, cinch it shut with some toothpicks, sear it off on the uh, in the skillet for a couple of minutes aside, maybe three four minutes aside. Pop in the oven at 350 for about 10 to 15 minutes. Pull it out, cover it with some of that sauce, and then I'm going to put some uh, freshly grated matzo on top, put it back in for another five minutes so the matzo is melting, then serve that with some angel hair and this marinara sauce. Done. Easy, easy, easy. It's just some little steps, you know, and I, that stuffing is something you have to make the day before or the morning of. You really want that cold when you're going to stuff it. Otherwise, the inside of the chicken is going to cook before the outside does. So that's why it has to be cold and kind of done already. But anyway, enough said, enough jar dressing. Oh! I do have to say this, that dip, that, that, that stuffing. Now, I used four ounces of all the dairy, four ounces of the mozz, four ounces of the cheeses. If you want to, not mozz, four ounces of the pepper jack, I'm sorry, four ounces of the sour cream, and four ounces of the cream cheese. If you want to use all eight ounces, you know, like the whole block of the jack cheese, the whole block of the cream cheese, and the whole little container of the sour cream makes it easier to measure, just use two cans of artichoke carts and two blocks of spinach. That's it. I took the basic recipe. I cut it in half because it's always going to be leftover. And yeah, so but for a big gathering, do the whole thing. Double up on what you saw in the video, and you will have enough spinach to, to feed a nice large family party. Anyway, I'm going to stop talky talky. Let's get some chicken started so we can get that in the oven and get that cooking and serve everybody dinner. Oh, we got everything prepped. Let's just get this, uh, get everything kind of ready to get cooking, right? I'm going to take, hold it flat with the palm of your hand. Run a knife right down the side. I'm going to go about a third of the way across. You just want to open it up about like that. See? You fold it open, kind of like you're unrolling something.
And I'm using this because I use this in the uh, spinach dip. I want that same flavor to come across. Put some of your, your good stuff here. Close it shut. Stitch it shut. One more to do right here, and I will beat you all over there by the, the uh, skillet. So the skillet nice out, just put a little bit of oil at the bottom of it, just to prevent some stickage. Presentation side down. I mean, that's going to be covered with cheese. It's just a thing I guess to get used to doing. All right. And then flip. Flip. And flip. Let that go for another couple minutes, and then we'll go ahead and add in the uh, the red sauce and put it in the oven. And we can put a little bit of this red sauce on here. I want to add some to the pan because we want that moisture. And add a little bit of chicken stock to that too. We just did that just to make sure it stays moist while it's in the oven. So we didn't drop it in now. About 15 minutes, and we'll pull it out and add the cheese and put it back in again. All right, so after 15 minutes, it's going to come out the oven. It's going to look about like that. We're going to go ahead and, since I have this leftover stuff from the, what I separated out to use for this, I'm going to put a little bit of that on top, too. I'm going to make it like a cool little chicken artichoke spinach lasagna this thing. Got all this glorious mozzarella cheese that we just shredded right on top. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. The skillet is gonna hate me. It's gonna hate me, I say. That's okay. It's gonna be well worth it, I promise. I'm gonna put some garlic bread in there also. And okay, when it comes out of the oven, just want to let that rest about three or four minutes before you plate up, which is why we got the pasta working right now. So we'll show you all what it looks like in just a second.